Hi everyone, how are you? Today we're back to our trigonometric identities, the second part. Today is the 23rd. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hi everyone, how are you? Let us back to our class and see and remember what done yesterday. Quick. I like always to connect the previous class with the new class. Yesterday, what we did is these three identities. Sine square x plus cosine square x equal 1. 1 plus 10 square x equals secant square x and the last one 1 plus cotine square x equals cosecant square x and I proved it we got we got this identity from this by dividing by dividing all the term here by cosine square and by remembering that sine over cosine sine over cosine equal to the tan and 1 over cosine equal this to the secant and here by dividing all the term by the sine 1 over sine co cosine over sine this give you 1 cosine over sine is cotangent 1 over sine is cosecant that was done yesterday let us see what we're going to do today we're going to keep going today with this class and we need to simplify some equation in terms of sine and cosine. We're going to use this one. Okay. Now, this is an introduction to the verifying identities, the proven identities. Simplify in terms plus this sine and what? Cosine. Now, because this is my actual function, my original function. Now, the first one is, number one, tan x over secant x. Tan x over what? Secant x. Look here. Let us leave tan x. And let us write 1 over C time 1 over secant. Good? This is like 1 here. And I know 1 over secant, if you remember, I'm going to put it aside. 1 over secant equal cosine x. Then I'm done with this guy. Cosine x. And the tan, I know the tan is what? sine x over cosine x. Good? What happened here? This cosine cancel with this cosine. Then all that guy equal to sine x. Good. This is number one. Then what you have to do to simplify everything in terms of sine and cosine. Number two. One. Minus. We're going to multiply now. 1 minus cosine, this cosine. 1 plus secant. And cosine x. Look. Leave anything in red, leave it in red. I'm going to change 1 minus cosine x. And this 1 plus secant is what? 1 over what? Cosine x. And this guy, cosine x. Good? You see, the only one changes is secant. Now multiply these two. Okay. You see this guy here from here to here. We're going to use distributive property. Cosine x times cosine x times 1. When you multiply this by this, 
the cosine will cancel by cosine. Then first, one time cosine is cosine, when you plus one. Look, this guy, I, I'm going to make it easy for you, uh, which is what I mean by easy, one minus cosine x, this is the same as one plus cosine x. Now, just I need you to just to have this skill, skill, to remember, skill, which is a minus b. I know, guys, you know this, a plus b equal a square minus what? b square, which is the same, y minus 1, but you can, if you don't want to do this, you can distribute, you can do foiling, foiling, okay? But it's easy, it's going to be 1 minus cosine square x. All this. And what 1 minus cosine square x? Back, 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 back. Here, 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 here. Okay. Here. Look this. You remember this? Sine square plus cosine square equal 1? Okay. Okay. I'm going to put it here. Sine square x plus cosine square x equal 1. Now, I'm gonna go. We're gonna do what? Move the cosine square. You see this guy? We're gonna move it to here. This plus becomes uh, negative. One minus cosine square x, and this stays what? Sine square x. Then one minus cosine square x equal to what, guys? Equal to sine square x. More, more example, more understanding. I try after you watch the video to repeat this problem one time, two times, three times. Write again, and as much you write, as much you understand more. Example. Let me move my board here. Look at this example. Tan x secant square x minus one. What this remind you? This remind you is noir. Let me just put here the formula. I'm gonna write the, I memorized it, but you have to memorize it. Which is here. One plus ten square x equals secant square x. One plus ten square x equals secant square x. Then I'm gonna write this formula here. 1 plus tan square x, I'm going to see how this is going to help me. 1 plus tan square x equals secant square x. Look guys, if you move the 1, you see this 1? If you move the 1 from this side to that side, what's going to happen? We're going to be secant square x, I'm sorry, just I'm going to read this guy. I'm going to leave the tan square, this guy, because we're going to move the, mo the one from this side to that side, equal secant square x minus one. We move the, this. Do what this mean? This means all this guy here, secant square minus one, equal to a tan square x, time tan x which is tan cube x, tan cube. And I told you tan cube x is the same as well, tan x cube. What tan x equal? I'm going to write it here. What tan x together? Sine x over cosine x. Then this guy equal sine x over cosine x cube. I'm going to keep this one form, another form, sine x cube over cosine x cube. More professional to be, which is sine, this, all of them the same, sine cube x, but I like you to know all these forms, this and this, all this the same. One more problem, one more problem, example. Look to this. 
This reminds me of algebra. Cosine x minus cosine x sine square x. Okay, what you have to do here? What we have to do? Look, what we have something we call it what? G C F. Great common factor, which is what? Cosine. Take cosine x out. The meaning of taking any great common factor out means you have to divide by that GCF. Divide by that GCF. What left? 1 minus sine squared x. I just did this. Who, who can remember this? 1 minus sine squared. 1 minus sine squared. Cosine squared. You're right. You're right. Who you are, everyone. Everyone is right. Cosine x. And this guy, we just saw it in the previous example, cosine square x. What cosine x times cosine square x? Cosine cube x. Okay. One more example. Secant, example, look, look, this is very important. Secant square x minus 1 over secant x minus 1. It's a little complicated, but if you back to algebra and you remember that I, your teacher gave you a square minus b square equal a minus b, what we call this? Guys, what we call this? Difference between two square. A square minus B square. A minus B times A plus B. You remember this? Which is this guy. This is secant x square minus 1 square. Then the top I can factor the top. Secant x minus 1 secant x plus 1 and secant x minus 1. What you see here guys, secant x minus 1 and secant x minus 1. You don't need it out. What left? Only secant x plus 1. But secant x is what? 1. Secant x is what? 1 over cosine x. 1 over cosine x plus 1. More, more, a little bit more advanced. This over 1 times cosine x. You have to have the same denominator to add, right? Then my denominator is cosine x. My top is 1 plus cosine x. Let us see if we have time for more example. Yes, I think so. More examples, more. Look, another different example. Secant x. This example will help you verifying. You use all these techniques to verify your identities. We're going to spend some time in this. Secant x. Since always remember, I got just I'm gonna, repeat, I'm gonna repeat this two times. Since we have one term in the denominator, try to distribute that term. Split your denominators. Look what I'm gonna do. Secant x in the top. Secant x. We done with this with this. Then this with this. In the middle we have minus. Cosine x over secant x. This cancel. Wow. Now equal. Cosine x over. What secant x in terms of sine and cosine? One more time. I like to keep reminding you. Secant x equal what, guys? 1 over cosine x. Then this guy 
the secant x here becomes 1 over cosine x. You remember key change flip? Yes, you remember. You leave cosine x, you bring that 1 over cosine, you make it cosine x over 1, which is cosine x times cosine x, cosine s squared x. Guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me a time to explain for you this material. I will see you tomorrow or after tomorrow with more parts of this topic. Thank you and don't forget always to do uh, guys don't forget always to forget to like and what uh, subscribe don't forget to like and then this if you need anything I'm gonna leave this for one second to remember to contact us email us if you need any help with any topic thank you and have a nice day